so special for me about this style of fishing is it's not your traditional trout approach. I mean, most guys are throwing spinners, power bait, flies for these fish. These things are mean. Just snapping hooks, bending out split rings. Not catching one isn't an option. It's just ripping dry. Nothing I can do. Oh my god, dude, I'm fucking shaking. Holy shit, that was a fun fight. It's what I live for. <laughs> Trout are, are supreme predators and they have their own personalities. They're incredibly intelligent. And just how aggressive they are. Yeah. I mean, the eats you'll get from these fish right. are heart stopping. When you're working your bait almost as fast as you can and you see a 20 inch fish just flashing all over it, you're just seeing gold and brown and red all around your bait and you don't know if they're going to smoke it or not. When they do, that's just, oh, it's the best feeling. Yeah. It's not just you pull up to the lake and dump your boat in. It's, you're hiking in miles over crazy terrain. There's no trails, you're rock climbing, and it's just so fun chasing them down when it's that much harder to get to them. You're the hunter, the trout are your prey. What I really love about creek fishing is you're chasing after the fish. It's almost like you're hunting them and stalking your prey. And like we'll be ripping up almost vertical hills just to get the right cast on a pool to try and get a fish to eat. It's yeah. really technical. We're putting blood, sweat, and tears on the line, gear on the line, body on the line. We're really trying to get to the areas that people haven't tapped into or checked out because that's where the, the biggest wild trout like to hang out. Oh, good yeah, one. A giant, good one. giant, giant, giant. Oh my god. Quick, quick, quick. It's coming up. Oh yeah. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Come on. Get it, bro. I got him. Where is he? Oh, fuck. The net. Fuck oh. yeah. Let's go. Fuck. Woo. Oh, dude, I'm shaking. Shaking right now. It's what I live for. <laughs> when we're out there, it's you're really living in the moment fish in these smaller creeks with overhanging brush and light line. You gotta flip your bait in there, your bait has hooks all over it. You, you gotta really be precise and, and perfect. Maybe there's only a one or two second window in a, in a cast. Every hair on your arm is standing up, you're just ready to set the hook. Just trying to explore out to, to find that new water and that, that next pool that's just in your imagination, you know, where those big ones sit. That's what we love to do. Great hunting, humpback, King Kiro, little craw imitation. Great hunting, little super soft rod, 2000 Kage, buttery. Another thing that's really special about the creek fishing is I feel like it really allows us to connect with nature on a much deeper level than a lot of people get to. Cause I mean, we're far off the beaten path. We're not seeing yeah. anyone else out where we are. Yeah, we'll spend nights out there, and if you think that that that's where the the big fish are, whatever, nothing should get in get in your way. All that's just worth it to us for for the reward, which is these big fish. We what? struggle with this all the time, really trying to put a label on on our style of fishing. It's it's, it's almost like power fishing for trout. Yeah, we're spin fishing, but it's like it's like a BFS, but but spin fishing, you know. A couple years ago, the hookup started carrying uh, these smaller JDM trout minnow baits. Immediately, I was, was drawn to them, and we were like, wow, these baits are really good. And the most notable would definitely be the Great Hunting Line. 
So it's been around for a little while. It's a little more established. But I mean, there's also many other brands. I mean, Duo, Ima, OSP that are just pumping out crazy good baits for what we do. You can make them do things that you'd never think they could do. When you take one out of the package, there's no, oh, it runs weird or it, it's not working well. Like, just straight out of the package, it's incredible how good the bait is. And you know they've had to put a lot of time and energy into designing these the way that they're able to be fished. Because, I mean, they really are, like, perfect for what we do. Got him. Good one. Giant. Giant, dude. Oh, yeah, baby. Bring them up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Go. Uh, what's up, old boy? I'm going to just do a lift and release. Are you ready? Yep. Good one. Oh, 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 it's him. It's him, it's him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I'm fucking shaking. Watch the ledge, watch the ledge. This fish is so big. You're gonna shit when you see this thing in the net. Let's get this fucker in. You got it, buddy. Woo! What a giant brown. Oh, she's coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh my god. Get her, get her, get her. Oh, coming off here. Giving it fucking everything he's got. Starting to. Oh. It's gonna be sketchy, bro. That's too small. He's not even moving. Yeah, it. Dude, it's just a ripping drive. Nothing I can do. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that was a fun fight. This is, this is good shot. What are you thinking? There. That looks insane. Gnarly set. Holy shit. Dude, the spots are crazy. <laughs> He's a fucking tank, dude. He's mouth on. He's so dumb. <laughs> It's all about getting to that next untouched place you've never been and finding that cool new spot and that new fish you've never caught before. It's all about that hunt, just chasing after them, just always thinking about that next fish. The best way to go out there and figure it out is just to get out there. Highly recommend trying some of these, some of these baits and just get out there. <laughs>